It's a hot one in Portland, Oregon, as Portland Timbers to host a team used to playing in some warm weather. Arizona United up from the Phoenix area to take on T2 tonight at Merlot Field. Highs reached close to 100 degrees in Portland today. It's 93 right now. Starting 11 for Portland Timbers 2. Andrew Weber getting the start in goal, his second appearance for T2 this year. Normally the backup for the Portland Timbers. And getting a start today to keep him fresh. Also, normal T2 starter Jake Gleason was on the bench last night for the Timbers in their U.S. Open Cup match against Real Salt Lake. For Arizona United tonight in goal, Carl Wasinski. He started all but one of the games for Arizona United this season. Otis Earl, Joey Dillon, Rob Valentino, Tyler Ruthven, the back line. Otis Earl, a name, a last name that Timbers fans will recognize. He is the son of Robbie Earl, the former Portland Timbers color commentator. Got to leave it for Blanco. Toma took it away, and the right back will start the break coming right down the middle of the pitch. Has Richards on the right, Belmar on the left. Lays it off for Belmar over the bar. Joined USL Pro before the 2013 season. Played one year in the league and then folded after that year. Arizona United took its place and misses Carl to Belmar. Doesn't miss that chance. 1-0 T2. Belmar had a chance minutes ago that he put over the bar. No doubt about it this time. His eighth goal of the season. And quite a difference. Here comes T2. Again, the speed and the attack. It's a four on three. Fatal slows it down. Now has Gavin on the left. Plays it to Toma. Back to Fatal. He's through, and it's two. Beautiful combination from T2. Fatal finishes. And what a start for the home team. Third goal of the season for Fatal. That was pretty. Toma already an assist today. Brent Richards, a little bit of time. Left footed shot, just wide. The former Portland Timber homegrown, Brent Richards, trying from distance. He wasn't that far off. Blanco looking through. Top a chance. Weber makes the save. Another for top. It was blocked by Toma. MLS seasons. He scored two in the last three games for T2. It was in quite good goal scoring form. Ruthven into the box. Weber makes a great save, but it's put back in. Arizona pulls one back in the 74th minute. George Malky after the Weber save. And now a 2-1 game. Weber made a fantastic save on the first opportunity, point blank. But the rebound is just sitting there for Malky. And now, certainly a game. Tan had the initial chance. With only Morrison and Malky back to defend. G. Anderson coming forward on the left side. Plays it through, trying to pick out Kasipli. Zia recovers. Gavin touched to Kasipli! The third for T2! And it's Seth Kasipli's first! Again, on a quick counter attack. T2 recognizing Andrew Weber, the goalkeeper, the veteran goalkeeper, recognizing that Arizona had brought everybody forward for that restart. Played quickly to G. Anderson, who sent a good enough ball behind the Arizona back line. That Zaya couldn't handle. Gavin did well to touch it to Kasimpli. And a cool finish from the substitute. 
just like against the Austin Aztecs a couple weeks ago. A third goal that's going to relieve a lot of stress for the rest of this match. As referee Chipolo Street continues to check his watch and blows the final whistle. Three points for T2. And back in the win column, a much needed result for Jay Vidovich's side. Final score for Merlo Field, T2-3. Arizona United 1, Portland Timbers 2 into seventh place in the USL's Western Conference.